is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? <laughs> Hi. Okay, so today is the first official day that I am a self-employed illustrator slash artist slash maker, whatever you want to call me. I am now self-employed. Yesterday I had my last shift at my job and I am now free. I am free. Uh, it's, uh, it feels so weird. <laughs> this morning I woke up at, I'm um, just gone 7 a.m. and I usually wake up at five. So I felt strange. <laughs> You might also have noticed that I have cut my hair and dyed it. I did that yesterday after work. I just felt like a massive change and I just did it. And yeah, I cut it myself. You can probably tell that I cut it myself because it's not very, it's not great. It's pretty straight, but I was gonna style it for this video and like actually make it look nice, but then I thought, now this is actually what I'm gonna look like in real life so I might as well just tell the truth and this is my hair now. <laughs> um, it's nearly 11 a.m. now. I spent the morning doing some housework things that I've just been putting off for a long time. Um, I've replied to all my comments and emails. I did yoga, which was amazing. Like I haven't done yoga in months <laughs> I haven't done any exercise in months and I think I haven't done it because I was feeling like it was a waste of time because I wanted to get like all my art things done and after coming home from work each day it was all just a big rush to get things done and I never took any time just to chill out do some yoga relax I'm gonna make a big effort to try and chill and look after myself now. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah. I feel a bit lost at the moment because there's lots of things I want to do, but I just feel a bit overwhelmed, I think. I think the main thing I want to do this week is finish this sketchbook. I'm so close to finishing it. I think I've got maybe five double pages, I think, to finish. And then I'm going to move on to my new sketchbook, which I'm really excited for. And it's actually an A4 sketchbook and I never work A4. I always work in small little sections. Like, <laughs> I just want to be free. Yeah, this is my main focus. I also, um, I want to design, make, send off the designs um, for two stamps to stamp my envelopes because I'm trying to move away from making stickers to go on the envelope so I'd like to make a do not bend stamp and like a logo stamp that says thank you. I've got some rough designs in this sketchbook which I'll show you later. Um, I also want to make a return address stamp but I'm thinking I'm gonna wait till the new year for that one because I wanna open a PO box because it just looks more professional. That's basically it. I've just got like little admin kind of tasks to do and work in my sketchbook.
so I did a bit of painting. I did this toad and I had this idea in my head and I've had it in my head for about a week now but it didn't really come out like how I wanted it to and then I tried to do landscapes because I'm usually quite comfortable doing landscapes and I just can't. I just can't paint anymore. <laughs> um, to be fair I haven't done anything really in the in about two or three weeks so I'm pretty rusty. Um, I also did a little bit of doodling in my sketchbook and I doodled some bunny shapes. I don't know if you can see. Yeah so I doodled some bunny shapes and I thought they were really really cute and then I had the idea of making them into stickers. I've got these ideas so far so they're literally just bunnies in and hearts and I thought they'd be nice as vinyl stickers so I'm gonna do I think I'd have three so another bunny pose and a, like a red heart or something um so I'll probably work on those tomorrow now because it's already it's gone three o'clock now but I'm pretty happy with just the stuff I've done today because it's getting me excited and I'm getting lots of new ideas and I haven't felt like this in a while so yeah I'm really looking forward to what I can create. Um, I also I think I'm going to work on my stamp design for now um, this evening and I'm going to go for this one not those leaf things it's just going to be a toad I think three hearts thank you at Sarah Madison and for my do not bend stamp it's going to be this. Um, I don't know whether I'll put please above the mushroom or under the mushroom I quite like it how it is. Yeah, I'm gonna work on those tonight and if I finish them, I will send them off. I feel like today's been a good day and I think these bunny stickers are gonna be so cute when I actually paint them. And they'll be good for both Valentine's Day and Easter. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward. Yesterday I designed my stamps <laughs> and I did send off the toad for making. Um, yeah, I'm quite excited for it to arrive. Um, I didn't send off the do not bend stamp yet because I've still got some envelopes to use up that already have it written on so I thought there's no point rushing that one. But this is the design, I think I'll go for this size, obviously that size is really freaking big. Yeah, so I'll send this off in the new year once I've used up all the rest of my envelopes and yeah, I'm pretty happy with that toad. You saw me paint this toad yesterday and I'm uh, I'm feeling just like meh about it so I'm going to repaint it. <laughs> repaint a toad today because I want a toad to be my Etsy icon so like this and just have the toad, some hearts but I want it to be in watercolour, if you get me. So that's what I'm going to do today. my toad. Um, the colours turned out a bit different to what I had planned but I quite like him.
it's Thursday. I spent yesterday and today doing a bit of sketchbooking and I spent a lot of time making lists and trying to plan out the next couple of months and what I want to do. So I have mentioned that I want to work on some Valentine's Day stuff. I know it's not even Christmas yet but that's what I'm thinking about at the moment. Um, I'd also really like to start on Patreon in the new year. I know I'm just a tiny creator, really, <laughs> with not a very big audience, but I still want to give it a go, and I'm sure it'll grow over time anyway, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do in the new year, so I've been busy planning things for that. Um, yeah, I'll show you a bit of what I did in my sketchbook. I did some little pink raccoons. <laughs> I've never drawn raccoons before, but I think this one is so cute. Really like that one and that one as well. It's little hands. I think they're just such cute animals. Um, I also did a bit more bunny, bunny sticker planning for Valentine's Day stuff. Um, oh, I also worked in my ugly sketchbook and did a couple more doodles. Yeah, I'm really enjoying just getting my ideas out really. And I'm really excited for the new year. I kind of just wanna get Christmas over with now so I can work on Valentine's Day stuff. <laughs> I know. But yeah, I think I've got about six or seven pages left in the sketchbook. So I'm just gonna work on that today for the rest of today and tomorrow and then I'll hopefully do a sketchbook tour before the end of the year. My new clay just arrived. I bought a couple of new colours. Basically before I was using just plain white Sculpey but I thought I would switch things up a bit and get some coloured clay. I got this raspberry colour, this pastel pink colour which I'm probably going to use a lot of so I probably should have bought two blocks of this. Um, I've got this glittery effect white and this pearly effect white and a yellow and I'm so excited to use them. I also bought this glaze varnish, whatever you want to call it, because I'm kind of fed up of using resin. Like it gives a nice finish, but it's so messy, so fiddly, and waiting for it to cure is just painful. I'm also going to show you what I bought my mum for Christmas and accidentally bought myself the same as well. So my mum said she wanted to use more bars of soap rather than like shower gels and stuff. So I got her and myself one of these honey I washed the kids, I think it is. And it smells so good. When I first opened this box, like the smell was just so nice. So I've got one for me, one for her. I also bought I already have this, so I bought one for my mum as well. It's, I think it's called Sleepy or Sleepy Time. Maybe it's just Sleepy. And it's like lavender and vanilla -y and mm, nice. Yeah, so I got how many bars of soap? Three bars of soap, one's for me. And I also got these mini hand cream things. I think it's called like Charity Pot or something. One for me, one for my mum. They also smell really good. I cannot wait to use them. But I'm really bad at buying Christmas presents because I always see stuff that I like and then I end up buying like one from a friend and then one for me or in this case one for my mum and one for me. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. Oh no, what's this? Oh, <laughs> I bought this for myself as well. This is a shower oil, I think it is. It smells almondy. I think I've had this before and I've really liked it, so I can't remember what it's called. Something loco? I don't know. Also, I bought some tea for my mum because she likes tea pigs as well. She likes this chocolate flake tea. And I got this for myself and it is a bloody big bag. I didn't realise it was this big, but I absolutely love this chai tea. 
and I ran out in November and I was really sad, but now look at this big boy. You right? Gosh, you look really dusty in the light. Why are you so dusty? <laughs> Poor little girl. I'm sorry for making you all dusty. It is voice over me. I thought I would end this video with a quick, well, probably not quick, I'm probably going to ramble a bit, but a sort of roundup of the week I've had. <laughs> so it's been pretty good. Uh, I took it quite slow and I did mostly admin tasks. That's why there's probably not a lot in this vlog, but I've got back into painting and I'm really happy and I've basically finished my sketchbook now I'm just gonna go back and add fill up any little blank spaces there are on each page and I think that will be my first video of 2021 it will be a sketchbook tour and I'm really excited to move on to my next sketchbook also this week I made a lot of plans and lots of sketches for products to make for my January slash February shop update. So I'm hoping to reopen my shop on the 25th of January, but I'm not 100% sure yet because I might not finish everything in time. So it might be the start of February, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. I also drafted rewards and content for Patreon. I have mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but I'm hoping to start Patreon. Ugh, scary. I also planned some YouTube content for the next couple of months and I filed all of my receipts and transactions, um, which took a lot of effort, but I've done it now and I can just move on with my life. But I'm gonna try and keep up with filing my receipts every time. I make a purchase, a business purchase, because I just want to stay on top of that, to be honest. <laughs> I also ordered my stamp and I ordered a bunch of envelope samples because I want to change my packaging up a little bit. Um, you also saw that my clay has arrived. I also ordered that this week and I'm ready to start making earrings again. And yeah, I kind of realised that being self-employed is going to be a lot of admin work and tasks. That aren't very fun or YouTubeable. YouTubeable? Studio vlogable? You know what I mean? But I'm still super excited for the new year and to be able to call myself a self employed illustrator. That's exciting. Okay, I'm going to talk a bit about my art and business goals now while you continue to watch me paint. I am painting rather small rabbits and a raccoon. I did them all in pink. I don't know why, I just felt like painting in pink. So as I mentioned, I want to start a Patreon in the new year, which is scary and exciting and I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm just really excited. I'd also like to get ahead with my Instagram content because I do go through weeks where I don't have anything to post. I panic and I know that's really, really bad and I shouldn't feel like that, but I do. So I'd rather batch create a lot of content so it will keep the ball rolling throughout a month or two and we won't have to worry about it. Um, I'd also like to reach 5k followers on Instagram, which I think that's pretty doable. I'm on 1k at the moment, 1000 and something k at the moment anyway, and I think I can do it. Um, I'd also like to reach 3k subscribers on YouTube, which is a lot, <laughs> but... I think that's also quite reasonable. If I upload regularly, 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 and keep my content consistent, I can get there, I think. 
I'd also like to make time to sketch every day and I'd like to finish two sketchbooks. I finished two sketchbooks this year so I think it's pretty doable. I'd like to build on my portfolio. I like my website at the moment but I want to push it a little bit more. I also want to make GIFs or GIFs. GIFs? GIFs? And get a little bit better at digital illustration. And of course I want to make my packaging as sustainable as possible and I have been working towards that this year and I'm pretty happy but I could be better. Um, health wise I want to eat a more plant based diet. I really enjoy cooking so if you would like to see some cooking footage in my studio vlogs let me know. Um, I eat um, vegan mainly and vegetarian. I sometimes have cheese like if I have pizza I tend to have cheese on my pizza I know I'm so bad <laughs> and I also really like chocolate so yeah let's just say I'm vegetarian <laughs> I'd also like to practice yoga five days a week and I mean this could be just a 10 minute session on one day or a one hour session as long as I just do something that will make me happy and um, I'd like to read 30 books. I'm currently on my 26th book of the year and I'd like to beat it again next year. So yeah, hopefully 2021 will be kinder to us. Um, I'm not too sure that we're off to a great start because Wales is actually going into lockdown again straight after Christmas and they've said it's for three weeks but I reckon it will be, <laughs> it will be for longer. But anyway, um, I do hope things get better next year and I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. I will see you again in the new year and I will kick it off with a sketchbook tour. Bye for now!